Dear viewers, greetings. In this present video, we are going to see about the history of microscopes. Microscopy. Microscopy is the technical field of using microscopes uh, mainly to view the samples and objects that cannot be seen with the unaided eye. That is the objects that are not within the resolution range of the normal human eye. A microscope is an optical instrument that magnifies the object otherwise the which objects which are too small to be seen and it producing an image in which the object appears larger. The microscope uses a lenses or a combination of lenses to produce highly magnified images of uh, small specimens or objects especially when they are too small to see by the naked eyes. Most photographs of the cells are taken using a microscope and these pictures can also be called as uh, micrographs. Uh, especially three parameters are very important in the field of microscopy. It includes uh, magnification, resolving power and numerical aperture. The first parameter is magnification. Magnification, uh, it is a measure of how much larger a microscope causes an object to appear. And for instance, uh, the light microscopes typically used in high schools and colleges uh, magnify up to about uh, 400 times than the actual size. Uh, so something that was uh, 1 millimeter wide in real life would be 400 millimeter wide in the microscopic image. The second parameter is resolving power. Resolving power is the power to details clearly. And the resolving power or resolution is the ability of the lenses to distinguish fine detail and the uh, structures. And the resolving power is calculated by using the formula wavelength of the light in nanometer divided by 2 into numerical aperture of the objective lens. This is the formula and, the, and specifically the resolving power refers to the ability of the lenses uh, to distinguish two points uh, a specified distance apart. Uh, for example, if a microscope has a resolving power of 0 0.2 nanometer, it can distinguish two points if they are at least 0 0.4 nanometer apart. And the resolution of the human eye is uh, 0.2 millimeter. And the general principle of uh, microscopy is that the shorter the wavelength of light used in the instrument, the greater the resolution. This is the uh, general principle of the microscopy. The next, the third parameter is uh, numerical aperture. The numerical aperture is a number uh, which represents the angle of light which was produced by the refraction. And it is a measure of the quantity of light gathered by the lenses. And it is a mathematical constant uh, which was derived from the physical structure of the lens. Uh, each objective lens has a fixed numerical aperture uh, which uh, reading was ranging from 0.1 in the lowest power or 10x lens uh, to approximately 1.25 in the highest power or oil emission lens that is the 100x lens. And the lens with higher numerical aperture uh, provides uh, better resolving power because uh, they increase the angle of refraction and widen the cone of light uh, which is entering into the lenses. Uh, history of microscope. The history of microscope was started in the 710 BC with the Nimrud lens. The Nimrud lens is a piece of rock crystal and may have been used as a magnifying glass or as a burning glass to start fires by concentrating the sunlight. Uh, it is later unearthed by Austin Henry Lyon at the Austrian Palace of Nimrud in the modern day era. Next in 1080, the first vision aid called as uh, the reading stone was invented. The reading stone is a glass sphere uh, which was placed on the top of the text which it magnifies to aid the readability. Uh, next in 1021 AD, the Muslim scholar Ibn al Hatham uh, wrote and published his book, uh, Book of Optics. Uh, the Book of Optics eventually transforms how the light and visions are understood. In the year 1284 AD, uh, Salvino de Ahmed was credited with inventing the first wearable eyeglasses. And during 14th century, the first spectacles was made in Italy. And uh, in 1519 AD, uh, two Dutch spectacle makers, that is the uh, father and son team, uh, Zacharias Janssen and his son Hans, 
place multiple lenses in a tube and they observed that uh, the viewed objects in front of the tube appears greatly enlarged and they are the forerunner of the compound microscope and the telescope uh, in the year uh, 1609 uh, Galileo Galilei developed a compound microscope with the convex lens and the concave lens. Next, in 1625, Giovanni Faber coins the name microscope for the Galileo Galilei's compound microscope. Next, in 1665, the English physicist Robert Hooke published his uh, drawing book entitled Micrographia. The book Micrographia was uh, filled with drawings of hairs or a needle and the honeycomb structure of the cob. And he also uses a simple single lens microscope which was illuminated by a candle. And uh, Robert Hooke was the first person uh, who used the word cell when describing the living organisms. In the year 1676, Anton Leon Hooke, who was widely known as uh, father of microbiology, father of uh, protozoology and the uh, uh, father of microscope, uh, builds a simple microscope uh, with one lens to examine the blood, yeast and insects. Uh, Leon Hooke was the first to observe the bacteria and he invents a new method for making lenses uh, that allows uh, for magnification of up to 270 times than the uh, original thing. Uh, in 18th century, as the technology improved, the microscopy becomes uh, more popular among the scientists. Uh, part of this was uh, due to the discovery that combining two types of glass reduced the uh, chromatic effect. In the year 1830, uh, Joseph Jackson Lister uh, reduces the spherical aberrations, uh, which means uh, uh, which produces the imperfect images uh, by using several weak lenses together at a certain distance to give good magnification uh, without blurring the image. Uh, in 1838, uh, two German scientists uh, who were very well known for the cell theory, uh, Matthias Schelleden and uh, Theodor Schewan, uh, proposed that uh, cells were the building blocks for plants and animals life. And they also published their findings as a drawing book in the name of uh, microscopy. In 1874, uh, Ernst Abe uh, writes a mathematical formula that correlates uh, resolving power to the wavelength of light and in general uh, Epps formula uh, makes it possible to calculate the theoretical maximum res uh, resolution of the microscope and in 1877 the first homogeneous oil emission objective lens was developed by the scientist John Van Stephenson. In 1903 uh, Richard uh, Zygmondi inverts the ultra microscope which allows for the observation of uh, specimens uh, which are below the wavelength of the light. In 1931, Ernst Ruska and Matt Snow designed and built the first transmission electron microscope, that is TIM. Uh, they built the transmission electron microscope based on the idea of the scientist Leo uh, Slistor. The electron microscope depends on electrons, uh, not light, to view an object. And currently, the modern uh, transmission electron microscopes can visualize objects as small as the diameter of an atom. In 1934, uh, the phase contrast microscope was first described by the Dutch physicist uh, Fritz Zernick and for later in 1953, the scientist uh, Fritz Zernick was awarded the Nobel Prize in the category of physics. Uh, the transparent biological materials are studied for the first time using this phase contrast microscope. In 1938, uh, that is just six years after the invention of the phase contrast microscope, which was comes from the electron microscope developed by Ernest Ruska, uh, he realized that using electrons in the microscopy can enhance the resolution of the microscope. Uh, in 1942, uh, Ernst Ruska uh, builds the first scanning electron microscope, that is SEM, which transmits a beam of electrons across the surface of the specimen. In 1957, Marvin Minsky patents the principle of uh, confocal imaging and using a scanning point of light, uh, confocal microscopy gives a slightly higher resolution than the conventional light microscopy and make it easier to view the visual slices through a thick specimen. Next, in 1862, 
Wazabu Shimura, Frank Johnson and Yo Saiga uh, discovered the green fluorescent protein from the jellyfish. Uh, this uh, green fluorescent protein uh, fluoresces bright green when they are exposed to the blue light. In 1972, uh, Godfrey Hansfield and Alan Cormack developed the computerized axial tomography scanner that is the CAT scanner. Uh, with the help of the computer, the device combines many X-ray images to generate the cross-sectional views as well as the three-dimensional images of the internal organs and the structures. In 1973, John Venables and C.J. Harlan observed the electron backscatter patterns in short form it is called as EBSP in the scanning electron microscope. Uh, this electron backscatter patterns provides the qualitative microstructural information about the crystallographic nature of metals, minerals, semiconductors and the ceramics. In 1978, uh, Thomas and uh, Christoph Kramer developed the first practical confocal laser scanning microscope which scans an object using a focused laser beam. Uh, in 1981, uh, Jed Binning and Heinrich Rohel invented the scanning tunneling microscope and this uh, scanning tunneling microscope uh, sees by measuring an interaction between the atoms rather than by using lights or electrons. Uh, it can visualize individual atoms within uh, materials also. And uh, the 3D specimen image also possible with this uh, invention of the scanning tunneling microscope. And next in 1986, the Nobel Prize in Physics was awarded jointly to Ernst Rosko, uh, Gerd Binning and uh, Heinrich Roher. And for Ernst Rosko, uh, the Nobel Prize was awarded for his work on the electron microscope and for Gerd Binning and Heinrich Roher, the Nobel Prize was awarded for the discovery of the scanning tunneling microscope. And in 1992, the Douglas Prasher uh, reports the cloning of green fluorescence protein and this report opens the way to uh, widespread use of green fluorescence protein and its derivatives as labels for the uh, fluorescent microscopy particularly the confocal laser scanning fluorescent microscopy. Next in 1993 uh, Stephen Hill pioneers a new optical microscope technology that allows the capture of images with a higher resolution. Uh, this results in a wide array of high resolution optical methodologies and they are collectively termed as super resolution microscopy. In the year 2008, uh, Richard Henderson attributes the enormous increase in higher resolution cryo EM structures to the introduction of uh, direct electron detectors. Uh, these detectors can deal with uh, systematic uh, noise and produce clearer micrographs which makes the particles easier to classify. And next in 2010, uh, researchers at University of California, Los Angeles uh, use a cryo-electron microscope to see the atoms of the viruses. And finally in 2014, Nobel Prize in Chemistry was awarded to Eric Bedzik, Stephen Hell and William Moner for the development of super-resolved fluorescence microscopy which allows the microscopes to now see matters which are smaller than 0.2 micrometer. Uh, dear viewers, thank you for your support. Thank you so much.